Welcome back to Healing Oats. This is Brielle, and we're here for the message for the collective for the 5th of November, 2020. And I hope everybody has been doing well. Let us know in the comments box below what you have been manifesting into your life or into this world. Now is the time that we really need to be focused as human beings on the positive and the good and bringing forward the good. Let us see what message Spirit has us to for us today from the Rumi Oracle. Something positive it will be to guide us and help us along the way. Let's see, spirit message for the collective for today, November the 5th, 2020. From nothing to everything. This almost looks like a tsunami. We see what looks like water here and waves. But then we also see what looks like maybe the northern lights or lights within the heavens. So let's see what the message is for today. Okay. Our message from Spirit today for the collective is... From nothing to everything. Oh, my friend, if you're longing to be written on, become a blank page. Rumi. It says, have you been shedding your skins, your layers, your certainties? Gone are fixed identities and definite opinions. Keep casting these shackles aside, even if you fear you're releasing too much, and then perhaps you, will, you shall cease to exist. You shall only cease to exist as you have known yourself to be thus far. Another emanation of your weights, blazing angel, something more beautiful and true. You're in a pruning stage, Rumi reminds us, like a garden. This oracle comes with guidance. You're being asked to let go to receive or to become empty to be filled. This may mean letting go of an attachment to a lover so you can receive genuine love. It may be of no longer holding on to a fan it may be of no longer holding on to a fantasy of your dream job but being guided into your most soulful and successful vocation it may mean letting go of wishes for your body or health to be other than it is so you can simply get on with living each day taking steps into wellness without thinking beyond one day at a time it is the divine paradox that when we are asked to surrender a story or fantasy it is because reality is knocking at our door more often than not, with the, the, with the delivery of what we have been fantasizing about. It's, I'll read that again. It is the divine paradox that when we are asked to surrender a story or fantasy, it is because reality is knocking at our door. More often than not, with the delivery of what we have been fantasizing about, but in the best way for us. So... We might be fantasizing or trying to materialize or, or manifest something, but we will get it not in the way maybe we see or we think is our perfect way, but it will materialize, it will manifest in our lives in the way that is truly perfect for us, the way that will best serve us, although we might not see that now. The human experience of this paradox is that you may feel you are giving up hope that your fantasy is dying. It may be painful and bring you much grief, but all that is dying is your attachment and opinion about how it must be. This needs to happen so you can stop dreaming and start living it. This is what is happening for you now. Do not fear any part of your process. Embrace it without exception and with trust in your heart that the divine is simply guiding you from fantasy into fulfillment. Very, very, very good. We're moving from fantasy into fulfillment. So as things unfold in your life that you manifest, pay attention, look to see that the divine wants the best for you. So the way that these things will manifest in your life will be for your best. Might not be your first choice, but it will be for your best. So the sacred honoring ritual for this is place your hands in a prayer and bow your head. We're going to say aloud, 
I choose to trust. I'll put it here so you can see it. I choose to trust in the great genius unfolding in my life. I give thanks for the blessings of grace now flowing into my heart. I have no need to know. I trust in the perfection of my being unfolding, of my being unfolding with innate intelligence and wisdom. Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, holds me in his protection, and I accept my destiny with a peaceful and trusting heart. Please help me to surrender the stories, attachments, fantasies, and fears that have, that have held me back from living my heart's desires fully. I now choose unconditional trust in the loving genius of life to lead me into my fulfilled destiny now. So be it. You have completed your sacred honoring ritual. Very good. Let's see, I'll hold it one more time so that you can see a little bit longer. So that is the ritual that they've provided us for today, that we've been provided for today to ensure that we can allow manifestation of what we truly not only want, but need into our lives in the perfect way so that it will serve us and provide for us exactly what we need. Not just what we thought we needed, not just what we thought we desired, but what we actually need and what will serve us best. So thank you for participating in this ritual with me. It will serve you for your best. I would say maybe Continue to practice it so that we stay on track and remember what you want and what you need in life. Maybe slightly different, but in the end, the best will work out for you. Thank you again for visiting. Please have a day filled with health, love, happiness, peace, and prosperity. Goodbye.